All right. Good morning, fourth graders. And we're on the last part of our uh, performance task. We're going to revise and edit. We'll watch some videos on that. And you can type away, okay, on your screen and retype it correctly, make the corrections. All right. So this time I have already have, uh, have us opened up. So you know you're going through Schoology. I'm not going to keep doing that every single time. You know how to get to here. You click on your article. You come down to here. So Friday, it says revise and edit the final draft of your article. So let's watch this. This first one just talks about revising. It's a short one. We won't watch all of it. And then we'll talk about revising. And I'll show you the rubric. And then you guys can get busy publishing. We get it. You don't really want your kids watching videos. But it can oh, have. We'll have the ad. We'll skip the ad. How to writing, episode four, revising steps. I'm writing a book about how to grow a plant. I've written an introduction and my steps, but now I'm going to revise. When you revise, you reread your writing. So you reread your writing. Revise. You have to read what you've typed. You think about your writing. And you, make, you think about it and then you make, make it, it better. better. I'm going to reread each step to make sure I gave the reader enough details. Step one. First, you should fill the pot with soil. Okay, so this writer is writing how to, you know, plant, grow plants. And she says, first, you should fill the pot with soil. Okay, so let's watch what she does. Hmm. hmm. I forgot to say what kind of tool to use. I'm going to change it to say... First, you should use a small shovel to fill your flower pot with soil. See how she added more details and made it clear, okay? That gives the reader more details. Step two. Next, put a few seeds into the soil. Hmm, I think I need to give the reader a little more information about this. So notice how she read it and she thought, of, when she went, hmm, she's thinking. So she read it and she said, hmm, that's good, but I need to do a little better. Yes. I forgot to say that you have to poke holes in the soil, and I didn't tell exactly how many seeds you need to use. All right, next, poke three or four holes in the soil and drop a seed in each hole. That's better. Step three, then sprinkle water into the pot. Wait, I didn't say to cover the seeds with soil. Oops. Then cover the seeds with soil and sprinkle water into the pot with a watering can. Okay, see how that she's putting more details? Finally, step four. Last, put the pot in the sun and wait for your plant to grow. Hmm. Hmm, she's thinking again after she's reading it. I better remind the reader that they will have to keep watering the plant so that it will grow. I'll add, don't forget to add more water when the soil gets dry. That's like a next step right there that she put on the end. All right, so we're, we're going to go on to back down to the next. You can finish watching that one again. And this one, now that's revise. Revise is where you just change your thoughts, add more to it. And then you edit. Edit's where you check for spelling and grammar, okay? And you can use spell check, and I'll show you. I'm going to demonstrate that again right here. In a second. Have fun and, and learn we'll math at the same time with again. adapted mind. A fun learn. Skip our ad. Editing. Editing, now, editing. writing. What is editing? Editing is fixing the mistakes in our writing. We can fix grammar, spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. Okay, boys and girls, you are fourth graders. You should always have capitals, starting sentences, and proper nouns, periods, and question marks, and the exclamations at the end. Spell check is on here for your typing and grammar. It'll show you some if you use the correct grammar. Here's an informational writing I've been working on. It says, do you like dogs? Do you like dogs? So that doesn't quite sound right to me. I will teach you how to take care of a dog. You can get a dog from a shelter. Next, take the dog to the vet. Then, don't forget to buy food. Last, get the dog some toys. Let's edit it. First, we're going to edit grammar. I have to think to myself, do my sentences sound right? So, grammar, does it sound right? You're listening, does it sound right? And, did I use nouns and verbs correctly? Let's see. Here's my first sentence again. 
it says, do you like dogs? Do you notice something that doesn't sound right to you? Yeah. Yeah, the word likes. It should be like. Do you like dogs? Well, it's easy to change that with when we're typing. You should know. You got it. Now we're going to edit spelling. I have to think. Did I spell sight words correctly? Did I use word chunks that I know? And did I stretch out every word? Let's try. You can get a dog from a shelter. What sight word did I spell wrong? Okay. Couple of, this is a little bit easier grammar can. spelling. Can. Can so starts with a C. It's the same process. This is a little bit lower, easier words, but it's the same process. You got to look through it when you're doing harder words too. Okay. What about the word shelter? I need shelter. to try to stretch it out a little bit more. Shelter. Okay. Much better. Now we're going to edit capitalization. We're going to think. Did I capitalize the first letter of the first word of every sentence? Did I capitalize the names of people and places? Did I capitalize the word I? And did I make all the other letters lowercase? All right, let's try. Next, take the dog to the vet. All right, so what this is a sentence that starts, you know you have to have a capital, okay? And then dog is not, wouldn't be capital. She'll, you can go through here, she'll show you. I'm going to skip over here. Now I wrote a couple sentences here. So this is the first one. And then this is my first sentence. Like I was saying, so I said, you should wear a helmet to play two, two plays hockey. All right, first of all, I'm gonna see, I don't think I need two, two. So I'm just gonna put the cursor right here when you're typing and just backspace and it erases it. Now, the red squiggly lines tells me that there's something wrong. It's spelling. And you have this when we were writing on our process. It's a good part about having the computer. So you're going to go up here in this toolbar right here with the letter and the check mark. And it says spelling and grammar check. And you're going to click. Now it's going to tell you. First one it went to was hockey. Now this is how I had it. It said hockey. I think it's hockey. So I'm going to accept. And it's going to change that. All right. And this went all the way back up into the grammar all right so now here we go it's going to come to helmet and it's going to give me a suggestion for helmet and helmet should be that and i'm going to accept that you should wear a helmet to plays plays shouldn't be this is grammar now they're checking grammar and spelling it's not plays it should be what play hockey now one more thing this should, you, they, we skipped that, is the first of a sentence, so it always should be capital. So I'm gonna go back and fix that. So now I said, you should wear a helmet to play hockey. Okay, that told me something I learned from the thing, from the articles, but, you know, maybe I would write a little more details. So I wrote, I rewrote it when I revised it, after I, really, see, I edited first. You're supposed to revise first, so I, I, and then you would edit. So, so when you participate in hockey, you should wear a helmet to protect your head from the injury. So you can see how this is a revised, a revision. And then uh, I edited it and I re this was a revision and it was an edit here for spelling. So really you do the revising first. So I should have had this sentence here and you check for spelling. Sometimes you do it as you go with both, okay? So you got these tools right here on your toolbar. So again, when we're typing toolbar, you can do this. You have font. Let's keep it at time that the 14 when you're typing, don't change it too much. Normal text times, keep it, keep all the font that you have it. And you can, you don't even, I don't want, I want you to type in black also. Don't change the colors uh, on this one. Cause some of you type it like yellow or pink and then it's hard to read. Um, okay. So then this, I have this in here, but you'll have a bunch of writing in here. Cause remember, when you write, you're going to come underneath here and you're just going to write going down here each day. And then you can revise it and fix it and just leave it on here. And then when you're in the end, you can submit it at the end. Now, this is your rubric. It says to inter interpret and integrate information rubric. 
Uh, okay, so the response gives sufficient evidence of the ability to locate, select, interpret, integrate information within and among sources of information. So these are one grade is a zero, one, or two if you can actually find information and talk about it. Now, this is for the grade overall four. Um, so the response is fully sustained, consistently, and purposely focused. So, and you have use a variety of transitional strategies. Okay, so to get a four, you have to use evidence from sources. Um, you have to have very few, if any, errors in spelling or grammar. And you have to have capitalization and punctuation correct for four. Now remember, you have the spell check, the editing to do, and we have it, uh, you can edit right on the paper right here. And I can look at it. I will be able to look at it. So a three, it says you have a few errors in how you make your sentences. You have some adequate use of transitional. See, for difference for a four was you had a variety of transitions. It means you had a whole bunch of different ones. This one means you did use transitions some, okay? And your focus is clear. It's, it's good. So three is good too. Now, to get, if you had a two, it says you may be clearly focused on controlling the main idea, but you, you didn't talk about the whole way through. You have frequent errors, inconsistent capitalization, evidence from sources. You don't cite any sources. You got to say from source one or source two, and you need to cite from both of them. So you need to say something about both source one and source two to get a three or a four. Okay, because it says some evidence from sources integrated. This one says um, evidence is weak. You didn't use much evidence. Uh, you didn't use use of transitional uh, strategies with little variety. That means you just might use one transition the whole time. And then a one down here, nobody, we won't get ones. People shouldn't get ones, but this says errors are frequent on conventions, uh, uses limited language, um, no few or no transitions, uh, may have focus, may be confusing if it's really confusing. And if you didn't anything, you get zero, okay? You couldn't write anything. So don't worry about, we're, this distance learning you're doing the best you can you've had a lot of practice with writing this year we've done informational even before we went off we did informational so just make sure you watch all the videos go back up do your spell check at the end and your edit right here with the a and the check um, type it right underneath here and you can submit at the end once you finish your final draft but you need to revise and edit and you need to have five paragraphs an introduction the introduction and the conclusion, boys and girls, are not real long. You're just kind of listing what you're doing. And you have three body paragraphs. Watch the videos and then submit your work. So then again, I'll show you. This is your transitions where you could go back and use some of these. If you only use one, try to use more than one in your writing, okay? And you have your plan. You plan it out first. You don't write the whole story here again. I'm reviewing what we're doing. Plan it out and then... You know, you can highlight ideas if you want. Make sure you go with what you have to do. This tells you exactly. And then the uh, rubric, make sure you read it more than once. Go back and read your directions again, what your assignment is. I helped you out, remember? I told you what you're looking for, how you are. Learn ways you can stay safe from playing sports and being active. All right, so good luck. Get it submitted in today and have it done on uh, May 8th and turned in. Have a good one. Bye.